Hello and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank Let's Play for the PlayStation 4 Part 4 As we descend into the depths of Blackwater City on planet Ralgar Pretty sure that's how it's pronounced Oh well This is so cool This just brings back so many childhood memories If you've watched my uh, Ratchet and Clank 1 review uh, that I did last year, you'll know that not only did, did I play the crap out of this, like, I played the absolute crap out of this on the PlayStation 2, but I also played it on the demo disc, so I knew Blackwater City and Metropolis inside out. Did he just shoot backwards over his shoulder at me? How rude. So, playing this on the PS4 is like, hey, remember when I played this on the demo disc, and hey, remember when I played this in-game? And remember when I played this on the PS4 last year? It, it, it's funny how this game's just running perfectly without any lag and stuff like that. At least not that I can see. With bolts and slime and alien dudes flying everywhere. And yet, most AAA games these days, I don't know, you chuck more than one thing on the screen. And all of a sudden, they're lagging all over the place! Ah! If you haven't played this game, if you don't have it, pick it up. It's always dirt cheap on the PlayStation Store, which is incredible. But I recommend getting yourself a physical copy, because, you know, physical copies are always better, especially in this day and age, with the crazy install sizes of games. Remember when games used to be able to fit, like, heaps of them on a console? Now, ow, that was clever. Now, if I install two Call of Duty games, that's it. My PS4 is pretty much full. Which is part of the reason why I don't play this. I'm so glad I spent an extra $20 when this came out to get the um, physical copy so you can just put it in the machine and have it install because it's only got a tiny update. That's just, that's more of a problem with the uh, current console generation really though than a fault of the game or anything. Or developers, it could be developers fault for not compressing their files. Anyway what I'm getting at is this game's install size, you know it's not massive but it's always easy to have a disc, so you can just put the disc in, it'll install it to the console, and then you just download the update so you can play. But with uh, games like Call of Duty in that, first person shooters, and well, it's pretty much all the modern console generation is these days, isn't it? Uh, with games like that, you don't have, you don't have like, little install sizes with big, with uh, big updates, or it's just massive install sizes with massive updates. Seriously, like, most of the Call of Duties are over 100 gigabytes. And I have a simple answer is don't play Call of Duty. I'm like, well, I enjoy it. Don't judge me. Anyway, we're not talking about Call of Duty, we're talking about Ratchet and Clank. Actually, now that I recall, I think this is the only time it ever lags, is when you use the pixelizer on heaps of enemies. Speaking of which, I keep getting hit. Keep getting hit because I'm getting too close to the enemies. Anyway, Ratchet and Clank's uh, game install is not massive. But it's still always a lot easier to just be able to put it in a disc and then download the little update that it is to download the game and then download the update. And you might be wondering, did he say $20? And yes, the game was $57 on the PlayStation Store in my country upon release and the physical copy was $70. So not quite. Not quite $20. But still, that's, that's how it is with a... Um, a lot of things, unfortunately. And I never cared about physical releases until earlier this year when I got my job working in a place with a fellow gamer who was, for lack of a better word, obsessed with collecting physical retail copies of games. And until then I didn't care, but then he was like, well yeah, but this way you've got, you can display them and it's a lot easier and stuff like that. It's a lot easier to just put plug in and play a game. And now since talking to him, I now have to own everything in physical copy. Except for ukulele, because, you know, kind of sucks. Kind of. Kind of. Settle down. I know it just had an update like two days ago that finally fixes a lot of problems, but it still kind of sucks. Oh, dang it. I really hope I'm not rambling, because I try and have constructive thoughts, like giving my thoughts on things in the series or other games and stuff like that to keep it entertaining rather than just narrating what I'm doing, because I think that's what I did in my Destiny Let's Play. Because 
occasionally I'll rewatch some of my old videos and be like, yeah, I liked how I did that, or I don't like how I did that. I'm pretty sure after a while I start narrating what I'm doing, like, oh, let's go in here, let's do this. Oh, look, that just happened. And with my Alien Isolation Let's Play, I'm pretty sure I only did that just because I, I had recorded, like, a cool-sounding intro, I guess. Like, I put on a voice, and Tamsin got to be in the video as well. If you don't know who Tamsin is, then watch more of my videos, please, people. Actually, that's rude. No, she's my partner. And she was in the Alien Isolation video and the Road to Panic at the Disco video. Anyway, I did like an intro with that. And I kind of, I kind of like, like the first 50 seconds of my Alien Isolation Let's Play. But I only did three parts, so they never went anywhere. This one is already out to part four, so yay! I'm proud of where this has gone so far. I know I'm probably going to get like 20 views, if that. But still, that's better than no views. Like I said, it's not about the views, it's about playing the game, having fun, and I'm really looking forward to having conversations in the comments sections with not necessarily my fans, but fans of the game, fans of the Ratchet & Clank series. Hello, hey, person. I'm I should have tried to do the pixelizer the glitch race? then. Oh well. You know it. <laughs> it's kind of weird how they just stand there static. I mean, they move a little bit, but it's still a bit, you know, off-putting. I wonder. Yeah, uh, only true Ratchet Clank fans would know what I was doing there. I already know it's not the case. I would never turn that otherwise. I've never even attempted doing that. Oh crap! Uh, accelerate! Boost! That's it. And because I'm not doing trophies or skill points or anything, I don't have to worry about that sort of thing. Oh, how do you... So you jump. Yes, that's it. That's it. Did I land it? I landed it! Yay! It is boost meter filled, ratchet did stuff. Can you get a gold bolt? I think. Was there a gold bolt? On here? I think so. I seem to recall this being one of the only difficult trophies. I'm not sure if it was in this game. I think it was like win without boosting might be it. Although I do remember the Ratchet and Clank HD trilogy for the PlayStation 3 and Vita. This was probably the hardest trophy in the game, was the gold trophy you had to beat a certain time on this race, and we're talking pitch perfect accuracy. You had to be on point constantly, you couldn't miss anything. Oh, there's a gold bolt. You couldn't die once. If you did, you'd have to restart. Well, I don't even think you could restart, so I think you'd have to quit and try again. Hey, I finally landed a trick. I'm, I'm too busy talking, I'm not even worrying about how I'm doing in the race. How many laps are there? Three. I keep failing on my jumps. Ratchet takes the lead. Awesome. This is bronze, though. Well, gnarly, dude. Want to go smoke some Lombax juice? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> um. Yeah, I was talking about the the gold trophy in the Ratchet and Clank HD trilogy, where you had to beat a crazy time on this. I think I ended up doing it for my friend, although he might have done it himself. I don't remember. Yo, William, if you're watching this, let me know in the comments. Did I do it for you? Or did you do it yourself? Yay! I win! What was that, like a nice minute work. 20? You're the first Lombax to ever win a race. First Lombax to win a race. So we've got the test. Come back anytime. They're always giving away... Cool prizes? Sweet. Hang on a second. I just remembered that planet that I thought wasn't in this is in this game, I believe. Of course, we probably have better things to do. Crap. I'm recording this before uploading any of the videos. I think it's going to be the last one. I'm going to do parts one to four. But I've been saying that Kalibo 3, is that it? Something like that isn't in the game. But it is. Oh no. What have I done? You want to go for the world record, don't you? I want to go for are. the world record. Yeah, sure. Let's go for the silver cup. I shouldn't be doing this because I'm trying to do an entertaining let's play. Even though I know nothing about making entertaining Let's Plays. Well, no, I shouldn't shouldn't second guess myself. I'm, I know what I'm doing. It's Ratchet and Clank. I wouldn't do a friggin' Let's Play of a game I haven't played before. Possibly. Actually, no, I would do that. Well, everything I'm saying is rambling then. I've already failed my goal. I'm sorry. Now I remember why this was so difficult, because he had all the exploding crates everywhere and doing it without... Was it without boosting, or you just had to beat the first time? I don't know. I do believe it was beat it without boosting. That could be why it was so difficult. 
probably check the trophies. Jump. This is cool. This is like really high octane, fun zoom around action sort of thing. The originals were like slow as heck, weren't they? I mean, they they still required skill, like a lot of skill, because bleed and act those races were brutal on the PS2. <laughs> but here, yeah, because of the heaps, the boost, and just the the effects on the side of the screen that make it look like you're zooming at high speeds, it's really cool. I dig it. It's better than the. Uh, the hover bike racing in Ratchet Clank 2, I believe. I think, yeah, you get the uh, the Devastator in your second round of races in the PS1 version. I wonder if you get that here. I don't think so. It'd be a bit weird if you had your rocket launcher, <laughs> rocket launcher while on a hoverboard. Oh no, don't lose it right at the end. Yeah, yeah, I did it. Should I go for gold? I don't want to bore people. Enjoy your prize. You earned it. I won't go for gold. I'll move. Uh, I'll crack a high. I'll go on and move on with the game. Let's do the the dreaded underwater segment. This will be good. So lucky. Who's talking to me? Who was talking to me just then? What the heck? You saw it here first, guys. You saw whatever that was. You saw it here. 10 out of 10 IGN. I should stop making IGN references. Did I, like, attach myself to that swing shot, like, up there or something? That was so bizarre. Oh well. <laughs> I should get an action, ac an action, action replay of that. Welcome back to diving the depths of Blackwater City. I wonder if we'll see any Ninja Turtles down here. Ha ha! Reference. Referential humor is the best kind of humor, right? Right? Alrighty. I'm not actually checking the time. I really should be checking the time so I can do proper intros and outros to these videos so they don't get too long. Is this going to be the last one? I think I might do one more. So if you're watching this, well, thanks heaps for still watching after all this time. Yeah, you're yeah, awesome. Because what is this, part four? Yeah, so if someone's watched parts one, two, and three and they're still watching part four, you're awesome. Thank you. I'm going to be doing lots of thinking while <laughs> playing this game. Because, yeah, more than anything, though, I, I appreciate, like, audience feedback and just having really good conversations with my viewers. Because I don't get many. I don't get many viewers. Which, I don't mind. It's incredibly understandable. I'm a tiny channel. What, have I, what am I now? 407 subscribers? That's not bad. That's something. As long as I'm not boring people then I'm all good. Hang on. I remember in the PS1 game you had to break your something. Ah, ha, ha, you do have to break your something. Are there any fish in here that are going to try and kill me? No, there are not. Is there someone outside, or is there a haunted leaf blowing past? Man. Okay, in the previous couple of videos of said hey leave your thoughts or comments down below stuff like that i reckon he'll be a, a, a question for the masses let me know your experience of the first time you played blackwater city whether it be on the ps2 in ratchet and clank 1 or again here i know blackwater city was in ratchet and clank 3 up your arsenal but it was just relegated to a galactic rangers side mission thing to get the grind boots no to get the um, what am I wearing on my feet again? Gravity boots? Is that what they're called? Oh well. Anyway, so disregarding Ratchet and Clank 3, uh, let me let me hear about your your first experience with uh, Blackwater City and the old dreaded under underground sewer level. 
as you can tell I'm trying to concentrate while also talking. I don't think I've ever drowned in this. I do remember though right at the very end you're just you're just swimming straight upwards. So this is a lot easier than the uh, PS2 version. Because you move so much faster. Not only in like helipack and stuff like that, but you just swim way faster. Come to think of it, could you go I in the PS2 demo disc you could. You could go to the Oh look, we won. You could go to Blackwater City before Metropolis. So you could try and do this without the helipack. I'd like to try that. I might have to do that sometime next time I'm near a PS2. Try and do that segment with uh without the helipack. We Oh, well, you can do it in this game too, it just might be a bit tougher, because the helipack only helps you when you're out of water, so... Although, as we just did then, it was a piece of cake. We even beat the water to the last area, which... I must say, it takes rather a bit of skill. <laughs> Not really, anyone could do it. Anyone could do it if you put your mind to it. Yeah. That was... That was weird. I'll never say that again. Alright, let's go talk to our best friend, the Rhino Salesman. Perhaps it's giving me a look like, what are you talking about? There he is! But first! Ah. Uh, wait, slow motion? I didn't know you could go slow motion. This place looks like bad news. Better keep your eyes peeled, Clank. Hey, pal. You got any of them rhino hollow cards? So he doesn't look much like the original salesman, and he certainly doesn't sound like him. I don't mind. So he's who gives me the trespasser. Okay then. Sorry, sport. I can only give you other stuff. You can skip the trespasser puzzles in this game. I just remember that now because the trophy complete the game without skipping a puzzle. So for the sake of let's play, I'm gonna skip the puzzles! Yay! Not having to interrupt the flow of gameplay for tedious side missions. And by side missions, I mean mini games. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really, you can't skip the tutorial? Wow. I'm glad you don't have to. You don't have the option to skip that one. Is this the Rhino card? Looks like it. Yes, it is. Cool, guys! I found the first Rhino card. I'm so good at this! Should I go for gold? I'm a, you know what? While I'm here, I'ma go for gold. Hey, what Hello. Race again? Come on, come on, come on! Woohoo! I did it! I won! I won gold on the first try! Holy How did I used to struggle at this? Amazing. You should think about going pro. I should think about going pro. Well, I'm getting paid for this, so... Oh, another Rhino card. I got another one! Yay! Two in one video! Thanks, person. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, I meant to pixelize you. Wait, what? Hello, pixel lady! That's cool. I don't trust that taxi after what happened last time. Wait a second, is this the same taxi? No, it's not. Ah! I bet that taxi driver's gonna be annoyed. Wait, there's no driver. Okay, never mind! This is, this is fine. Because of video game. Alright, going back to the... I was gonna say the planet, but it's not a planet, is it? Going back to the space station. Do we get all the gold bolts? No, we didn't. Ah, oh, of course, there's the underwater gold bolt, which I'm assuming we're gonna find a helmet later in the game. Where's the... With Skid gone, there's not much left to do Gold on Gold Bolt and Iridia. Ah, of course, we'll do that now, shall we? Might as well, eh? Might as well do that now. In fact, if this is anything like the first game, we'll talk to Skid's agent and get something. Actually, no, they took off on their rocket, didn't they? And all that gave you in the first game was the Mouser helmet? Mouser? Mouser helmet? That thing was pretty cute. Little, little robot companion flying around you. Shooting enemies. Looking at you, Clank. Just sitting on my back. Not doing anything. That's a blatant lie. Clank is awesome. He does everything for Ratchet. Alrighty. I'm sure there's a way to glitch that where you like jump out of it before it teleports you and it does some kind of funky glitch. Hey oh, here we go. 
Please be a gold bolt or a rhino card, not something dumb. Wait, what? Oh, thruster pack, right? Yes, I forgot about that. In the original, there was like that. That was something. There was like an ability in the original where you like thrust the pack upwards and then you press the button again and Ratchet would slam down and it would deal, not damage, but it would unlock certain switches and stuff. Hello. Now, this is how you did it in the original. Can you do it here as well? Ow, what the heck? Um, I don't want to risk it if that's not what I'm meant to do. But I know that's how I did it in the original. It looks like it. Let's give it a go. Instantly falls in the goo. Hey -o! Um. Well. It would appear I don't remember how to get across there. I could have sworn it was there. Oh well, I'm not too fussed anyway. Because this part is almost over, so instead of wasting time trying to get gold bolts and stuff, I will go back to the ship. So I apologize for wasting the last two minutes on this planet. I'm constantly worried about boring people. I'm like, please don't be bored, please don't be bored. Because it's easy to get bored looking at someone backtracking and stuff. Unless they've got, I don't know, millions of subscribers. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I think this will definitely be the last part I record because I'm starting, I can feel my voice starting to get a bit sore, which is surprising because I thought I could talk for hours on it. <laughs> Anyone who knows me knows I can talk. Hey, you got a lot of bolts. Hey, you got a lot of raritanium. Hey, Stop trying to take my money from me, anonymous voice. Especially when all you've got is the Groovatron and Proto. Pr Proton drum? Proton drum. Yeah, scumbag. Have I not leveled that up yet? That's a shame. What else have I not leveled up yet? That's one of our what is this? The range. Yes, of course, the range for this thing would be nice. Here we go. I can't read that. Wow. My eyesight is quite bad today. Okay. Off to, um, this way? No. I think that's where it's self-destructed, isn't it? So I don't want to go out that way. Don't want to send Clank out either. The old Perhaps trespasser. Here. Why are you giving me a tutorial? Tutorial! Yay, we did it! Attention scientists. I remember you used to have to jump I over that gas. Now you can just walk right past it. Alright. Just while I'm here, I'll check this. Rhino card acquired. Sweet. Rhino card. Oh, the Rhino 2. Good memories. Good memories. Thanks for the memories, even though... Why is it still giving me tutorials? Especially when I'm trying to sync Fallout Boy. Cool. Alright. Alright. Yes, Rhino. Very nice. Thank you very much. I may be your lead, but I am not without the tenacious Blark here and his I wonder if there is um Paul Giamatti doing the voice of Drek in the game, because I'm I am fairly certain that the the voice actors like the celebrity voice actors from the movie don't reprise their roles in the game except for. Is it Emma Thompson? Is that her name? Emma, what's... Uh, Bella Thorne. I think that's her name. Or Bella Thorne. Anyway, uh, I think she might. But honestly, I don't I don't know. I don't recall who reprises their roles. Actually, no, I, I, I straight up don't know. Help. Why does it say help? Oh, so I can't auto-hack this. This is just being mean to me. Fine then. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Right? Yay, I did it! And what am I rewarded with? Probably another card. Oh, is that a Rhino card? Yes! Why is Quark narrating a rugby game? Or a 
footy game, sorry. A sports game, there. Make it even to all sports fans. An Annihilation Nation game, how about that? That's a reference for you. These used to be not hard, but somewhat difficult to avoid, but these little gas outputs are so small. It's almost impossible to get hit by them, you can just walk around them. And the fact that in Ratchet and Clank 1 you jumped really slow. But that was by design. It was supposed to look, I don't know, cool or something. Coming out of the vent. Ooh. Oh, are you coming for me, Lombax? Oh, cool. Because I definitely... Oh, I always hated that in any game. When you get hit after already beating another... Or beating the enemy, and then, like, I don't know, their projectile hits you or something. I need to use the old weapon wheel more often. I've gotten too complacent by using a little quick select thing. Or the little quick panel. Um, excuse me. <laughs> I'm still I'm still thinking about the old whatever that glitch was where the um, slingshot randomly aimed the wrong way earlier in the video hmm. come on Zircon do your thing wow, I love the way the bolts just fly out everywhere and here you were probably thinking I'd finally stop talking about how great the graphics were. Never! These are amazing graphics! I feel like I did a game a disservice by not remembering them. Soundtracks. I'm not sure. I, I realized after recording part one, as I said when in part three when I went back and was like editing the footage, I I, I was listening to a bit of the soundtrack and it it was kind of catchy. Nowhere near like Ratchet and Clank 1 levels. Because, you know, that that was the bomb. But it was still like really on the top of my head too. It was really cool. But to be honest, I can't hear the music while I'm doing my let's play. Because I've got the volume turned down in my ears so I can hear myself think. You know what? Changing things up. Suck it. Now, which one of these holds the goodies? I'm sure there are, like, gold bolts and stuff hidden in different areas than in the original. But a lot of them... Actually, yeah, yeah, because in a lot of the places where gold bolts used to be, in this game there are just... What do you call them? Cards and stuff? But this is a gold bolt, which is nice. Very cool. I'm not really checking how many gold bolts I need to unlock certain things. I might unlock like a different head after a while or like a different colour. My favourite colour is green so I might do the old green outfit. Actually I'm just going to do that now. Extras, appearance settings, screen filter, bolt style, what have we unlocked? Metal currency. Fine we'll do the old classic shall we? Quark bot, snaggle beast. We'll go quark bot just for a laugh. There we go. I am the quark bot. Feel so wrong playing as one of these guys. I recently learned that a few of you have been sneaking into our restricted area to feed subject 857B Echo. This 857B is Echo, is that right, Drake? 857B Echo is not a pet. Yeah. And should you be caught feeding it, it's meant to be you. Come on. Come on. You can reach. There you go. So the metal, what did it say, metal currency or something, it basically just changes it back to classic Ratchet and Clank bolts, I think? That's what I thought it looked like, but it's probably not, it's probably a bit different. But come on, they, they, if they're just plain silver, they look like classic Ratchet and Clank bolts, but they definitely don't sound like them, they changed the sound effect, which is a bit, I don't know, eh. Uh, auto hack, just do it. We've got to wrap this video up now. Because I'm going to leave you with not clickbait, but sequel bait? No, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm going to leave you with the Groovatron! Yay! No, but tune in next time to watch part five. Jeez, part five, awesome. To see me take on the Snaggle Beast. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.